you may be at the stage in your life where you've been out of the workforce for several years and for whatever reasons now you want to re-enter the workforce and so you wonder, well, how do I do it? Well, the first thing I'd like to point out is just because you haven't been in the workforce doesn't mean you haven't been doing work. And in reality, many of the things that you've probably been doing during the time that you're out of the workforce can be translated over into a job in the future. So think about the things that you've learned. Think about whether it's managing your time or whether it's maybe you're managing children or you're managing schedules. Think about those skills that you've developed that can now translate back into the workforce. And don't be apologetic. Go ahead and when you go to an interview, explain the fact that, you know, I work probably harder during these years and I learn more about the things that can make me valuable as an employee now. Obviously, you have technical skills that you want to think about. And if you haven't uh, kept up, for instance, with technology and you need to take a couple classes on how to use Microsoft Office products or things like that, that's easy. It won't take you long at all to catch up with that. So don't hold back and don't be intimidated. Go to your local community college or go to your local computer store and ask them what courses they have that you could take online and get that over with because you can pick that up quickly. So you've got your natural skills that you've developed through your work. Now you're upgrading your skills so that you're ready to get into the workforce. Now decide what companies you want to work for. Decide what values you want to reinforce with the companies that you work for, whether it's in a retail business or it's in an office or it's in some other location. And you pick out three companies that you'd love to work for and begin building a relationship with those three companies. You know what? You don't need every job opportunity in the world. You just need one, and you're narrowing it down. And what you're telling them is that I'm going to choose you at the same time that you're choosing me. Once you've identified those three companies or organizations that you want to work for, start to build a relationship. Don't worry about getting a job the first time you visit them. Go and visit and find out what you can about do they have an annual report or do they have other material that you can take home and read and who are the people. One of the greatest people to get to know is the receptionist because they're sort of like a traffic control agent. So Build a relationship with the receptionist. Go to the human resource department. Build a relationship before you're asking for a job and begin to dialogue with them and they will become your advocate and they'll begin to tell you what jobs are opening up that would be a good fit for you. It's a great way to get going and you'll find out that you have a lot more to offer than maybe you understood before you started this whole process.